Daniel chapter 7. A loaded chapter. The chapter is not for newborn babes in Christ. The chapter is not for your modern Baptist church. And we're going to do it slowly. A lot of it's not going to be believed because your scholars don't believe. Your modern Bibles don't have. Break it down scripture by scripture, verse by verse. Introduction to Daniel 7. Actually, Dan, inter, introduction to Daniel 7, 8, 9, and so forth. In the first year of Belshazzar, well, that just shows you already right off the bat, Daniel 7 is not in order. We last left off with, with, with Persia. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den by Persia. Babylon had been conquered. Belshazzar had died. After the handwriting on the wall. Not all the Bible, this, this is something you need to know when you're reading the Bible. Not all the Bible's in order. It may go back. That may be one. Oh, you know, I got this list of Bible things. It may be because that list is out of order. The Holy Spirit inspired and designed to the order that He wants it. King of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and vision. So what the world does is, hey, I, I see dreams, I see visions in the Bible. So I'm going to believe in dreams and, and visions, and I'm going to get me a book, and I'm going to call a 900 number, I'm going to go online, I'm going to look up, find out what... Daniel did not have 66 king, books of the King James Bible. Even Jesus didn't have the 66 books of the Bible. You're not Jewish. The Jewish people as a nation is put on a shelf during the church age. Now, not individuals. And Jews require a sign. And these signs work for the Jews and they work for the, for the Gentiles. Now, I'm not saying God can't speak to a Christian today through dreams and vision, but primarily the Holy Spirit is going to speak through the scriptures, which many Christians today keep it closed. There are people, I'm King James only. And the, their, their King James Bible still has a cellophane. It hasn't even been opened. It still smells like it came off the, the press. Well, I ain't going to do you no good. Visions of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream. And how do you think he wrote the dream? Well, here we have Daniel chapter 7. And told the sum of the matters. He's going to tell us what happened. What was the result of these dreams? And Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night. Night. It tells us what kind of period we are in in these dreams. It's a period of the night. That's the church age. The church age is a type of the moon. The reflected light of the sun. From the, from the resurrection of Jesus and the, and the rejection of the Messiah by Israel... And going through the book of Acts and coming more to the Gentile period today, we are in a period of the night. And we are now in the book of Daniel. We are in the times of the Gentiles. 
And this period ends with the rapture of the church. And what we'll get to later is Daniel's 70th week. That's coming, Lord willing. And behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. That great sea would be the Mediterranean Sea. Look at Revelation 13. Today our study is going to be just throw out a lot of things out there for you. Revelation 13, 1. I stood upon the sand of the sea, saw a beast rise out of the sea. John is on the island of Platmos, which is in the Mediterranean Sea. Look at verse 2. And the beast I saw was like a leopard, his feet like the feet of the bear, his mouth the mouth of a lion, and the dragon. Back to Daniel. This is the Mediterranean Sea. There is no great sea where, where, where Babylon is. There are two rivers, Euphrates, and I forget what the other one is. And four great beasts. Now you take that four great beasts, and you take verse 17, same chapter. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings. Okay, so we're going to look at king, which shall rise. Nebuchadnezzar's dream, he's the head of gold, the Medes and the Persians. And we looked at that image. You've got to go back. We're not going to review. You've got to go back. We are going to look at a dream here, a beast. That represent kings which shall rise. Prophecy. Future. During the reign of Belshazzar. And Belshazzar is not any of these beasts. So back to verse 3. And great beasts that came out of the sea diverse one from another. The first was like a lion. Like a lion. It wasn't a lion. It was like a lion. Well, what on earth could you have a dream that was like a lion but not a lion? I don't know. And it had eagle's wings. That's a griffin. That would be England. I beheld to the wings thereof were Plucked. Here is a beast. It has, it has wings of an eagle upon a, a lion, a griffin, and at one time the wings plop. It's off. He can't fly no more. He can't flap his wings. And it, the lion, the dream, the symbol, lifted up from the earth. It was picked up. And made stand upon his feet. So picking up off the earth means he went up on his two legs from four. As a man. And a man's heart was given to him. He turned from a beast into a man. Nebuchadnezzar, uh, no, he turned from a man to a beast. And a beast heart was given to him. Read the scriptures. And then he went back to be, you know. And behold, another beast. A second. Like a bear. Not a bear, but like a bear. And it raised up upon itself on one side. And it had three ribs in its mouth. Unknown. I'm going to throw some things out there. Of it between the teeth of it. 
And they said unto it, Arise and devour much flesh. And we're going to do two of the beasts. Now, what's missing, because I'm going to tell you that that griffin, that lion and eagle is England. And I'm pretty sure you know and a lot of people agree that that bear. Now, don't let me hear you say, Stolly said, this is 2022. This is Russia attacking in war. What the current events right now. I'm not saying that. I am saying that there is a power of Russia. Russia could probably stand longer than the United States, according to the scriptures. Gog and Magog. And a lot of people think, well, this is Gog and Magog. <laughs> it's going on today, but you know, those signs are not for the church. They sing a wonderful, great hymn in the midnight hour, and the, I can see the signs are coming. There are no signs for the rapture. But what Paul wrote to Timothy, they'll be lovers of themselves, and on and on and on. That's the signs of the, the rapture. Well, there's earthquake, and there'll be rumors of wars. That's Matthew 24. That goes to the second coming, not the rapture. There's always been rumors of wars, especially since the United Nations came to be. I tried to, you know, when this conflict happened, Ukraine and Russia, I went to type out how many wars since the United Nations has been established, how many wars and conflicts, and I don't believe how many pages there were. I, I was amazed. So I believe right off the bat, and lying with the eagle wings is the national symbol of England. The bear, <clears throat> by chance, is the national symbol of the Russian bear of the People's Republic of Russia, which is some other name right now. I'm going to tell you right now if, that the leopard we're going to see is in America and that dreadful and terrible beast is the Antichrist. What you don't see if you know history before it's completely changed so you can't find out what the Bible says France and Spain are not even mentioned by the Bible. And France and Spain were mighty powers. They were mighty in the scriptures of the world in history, but they're not mighty in the scriptures of the Bible. As far as the England and the English people, the primary thing of the English and England and the England people is the English language that's still established today. All the world speaks English. There are men and women who are Christians who go into a nation where you can't have the Bible, you can't preach Jesus, you can't have an open Bible, but they will go into those communist countries, they will go into those countries, and they'll say, I will teach your people English, and they allow them, and they come in, and they work in the underground church, the underwork of Jesus Christ. I... I Put on my Facebook the other day a, a man who's communist, Russia, and he wanted to learn English so he could get a better job. He came to be saved, and he was given a, a King James Bible. He threw it out. He got to a modern Bible, and then he, he he got a King James Bible again. And he said, "How the King James Bible is the Word of God." Russia, we all know, is a symbol of communism. We can't escape that. And we will see later on in our studies of Daniel about the Antichrist. He's a socialist. He's a communist. And he's going to come in with English. Even the people in, in, in Israel, they speak Hebrew and they speak English. 
Upon the English Empire, it once said that the sun never set. Everywhere where the sun lit on the globe of the earth, there was a colony, there was a, there was a place, there was English, the England Empire. And when we go from England to Russia to America to the Antichrist, notice there's no war or fighting. It says that the eagle... He has his wings plucked and was lifted up the earth and made to stand as the feet of a man. And the man's heart was given to it. And it was not conquered. It was not destroyed. He didn't die in the middle of the night like Belshazzar. And behold, another beast. And to this beast, it says, Arise, devour much flesh. And after him, I beheld another Oh, you know, America's going to conquer Russia. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> And they say Russia conquered England. Even the Antichrist, when he comes in, that first horse, that first horse, when he comes in with a bow, but he has no arrows, and we'll see later on, Lord willing, he comes in with peace. You can conquer with peace. Now, Persia, which would be the, the, the nation after after Belshazzar, their official emblem was a falcon. And the Greek, which would follow after that, would be the blue and right cross. So we are up and over beyond where Daniel is. And out of England, which began it all, the open door, the church of the open door, came the King James 1611 English Bible. Later on, there came all the copies and, and devilish Bibles. You know me, you know where I stand on that. And when the English... And the Belfort Declaration and the R, uh, I think it's the RSV. And they turned away from the King James Bible. And they said, Israel, we're going to give you your land. Well, here you are. Here's your land. But then a little piece of people called Jordan came in. Oh, well, we got to give Jordan some things. The Belfort Declaration. God closed the door. The RSV. England today has never been such a nation. World War II. If it would not been for the Americans, England would have been wiped off the map, but that's not what the scriptures say for it to be. English, they, they've been clipped, and now they're walking. England had been destroyed by the Luftwaffe. The English today had given us the Beatles. That they couldn't come up with a big can of rage to spray those beetles. Maybe if they had the King James Bible, they would have sprayed those beetles dead. I want to hold your hand. And the filth that came from Oko and John. And England today is surrounded by witchcraft. And they are a socialistic Labor Party country. And yet I know uh, there, 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 there's a husband and wife and there's a vast team that uh, is in England and they preach on the streets Jesus Christ. And you'll find their posts uh, shared on my posts. It's allowed. And they fought the police like I fought the police. But England didn't die. The queen is still living. The queen outlasts how many presidents? <laughs> the queen's still going. She's still queening. If that's a word. 
How many presidents have come and gone from the Oval Office? The royal family. Now Russia, which would be a candidate that Russia came from the Greek, the Greek Orthodox Church. And I think everyone thinks that Russia is, you know, communism, and they're completely churches. And no, they got the Greek Orthodox Church, and they got churches. And yes, their gods is Stalin and the Labour Party, and they are communists. They have the Greek alphabet, the Greek Orthodox Church. They are a mighty, furious country that when you think, oh, Russia, it's sleeping, it's behaving itself, a good little Russia, you're nice and good, and the bear comes out of the cave, out of the, out of the hibernation. And Ukraine. Excuse <coughs> me. Russia's come out of hibernation. And none of the media said, well, that's what a bear does. We're here on the spot to realize that the bear is coming out of hibernation and, and he's hungry. That's what a bear does. You don't know what a bear does. You have no idea what the bear does. So, what you have is you have in the Bible history that is being written as prophecy. Now, as far as the nation of Israel, you have the king of Persia, 583 B.C., tells the Jews to go back and rebuild. That will come up later on in Daniel. You have England, 1918, go back. You know, they messed it up for them. Go back. In Rome, you've got the England, the Babylonian, and the United States. They will even tell you when you look up Washington Monument, blah, 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 it is an Egyptian obelisk, <laughs> the penis. When you look at the architect in the United States of America and our capital, it's Roman. If you would have parachute Paul today from heaven and he landed in Washington, D.C., he would think, hey, I'm in a Roman area. Is this live to see you? Is this a murder? Is this, uh, this is America, Paul. What's America? It sure looks like the time when I was preaching in e Europe. It hasn't changed. You will find the Roman ways and Roman customs in Washington, D.C. You will have a period then World War One it began seven twenty eight fourteen. America entered in it four six seventeen. America came in late, as she always does. America always comes in, we are the knight in shiny armor. World War II began 9139 and America came in 12741. The knight in shiny armor, America, yay! And yes, 
God used America in World War I and God used America in World War II. The Japanese, the worship of the emperor. You know the Japanese had kamikaze pilots. Kamikaze pilots were pilots that would bow down before their God and say, I'm going to kill myself for my God. They had Titan torpedoes. You say, what are Titan torpedoes? Those are torpedoes that were manned by a man, a Japanese. And he would go into the torpedo room of the submarines of the Japanese for He would bow down before the picture of a man. And he'd do his prayer, whatever, and all that. And he would go into that torpedo. He would aim that torpedo, change the, the, the direction of those torpedoes to aim at the ships. And he will die, the kamikazes will die in order of their gods. God said, I ain't having that. <laughs> you know, they found many of those kamikazes, I mean, one of those Titan uh, torpedoes. They found them on the ocean floor and they found the dead body that was in them. Well, if you found the torpedo and you found the skull and the bones of those, of those they didn't do what they were supposed to do. <laughs> Because if those titans did what they were supposed to do, they would kaboom up against the ship. Now, America had God. Families went to church. Even you didn't want to go to church. Families got dressed Sunday morning, they went to church, and they heard preaching. They heard a Bible. And then America got the ASV, and God said, oh, close the door. And America came out, well, let, let's read another one, I'm here, verse 6, after this, I behold a low, a, like a leopard, not a leopard, like a leopard, we're in America, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, you see, eagle in verse 4, fowl in verse 6, a fowl is not is not an eagle as our symbol. A fowl is chicken, a rooster, a, uh, 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 you know, buffalo wings. And we don't even realize they don't come from Buffalo. They come from Buffalo, New York. And we got great fried chicken. And the churches have fried chicken and that's your symbol according to the Bible, and you don't even know that. The chicken. Burk, 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 burk. Burk. That's what got a fowl. Four wings of a fowl. Now listen. KSC would love if, if the chicken had four wings. They make more money. The beast had also four heads. <laughs> And dominion was given to it. But the world wars America held. But Korea and Vietnam and Afghanistan and the Persian Gulf Wars, we didn't do so good. We had a, a, a civil war here in America. We had the North and the South. And who came to help us? No one. France stayed over there. Spain stayed over here. England said, hey, we, we got our butt kicked in the Revolutionary War. We ain't helping them out. They didn't want our help. They wanted to be a new country. Fine. Kill yourselves. And we had Lee. We had Grant. And today we're getting rid of all the Southern idolatry and imagery. That the Baptist, oh, I'm getting rid of all the stuff. That's in between idolatry. God said, you're supposed to get rid of it. Give the North credit for that. But you're supposed to take down the other idolatry in the imagery of, of you know, MLK. <laughs> Freedom of speech. Didn't get rid of them. We're changing history for them. And when we come to the leopard, we have a beast he has three colors. You dare to care what word? 
I already told you, America's come out of Rome, Washington, D.C. The architect is, is Roman. And we have the leopard here. And he has white on that leopard. The white is the symbol of Jacob, the son of Ham. That's the European. It's the European that came over from Europe into... That leopard will have a mix of a color of yellow. That's Shem, the son of Noah. And let me look at this one here. And America's in the Bible. Look at Genesis 9, 27. America's here. Genesis 9, 27. And God shall enlarge Japheth. That's the white man. That's the European. That's the that's the Greek. That's the Roman. That's the English. That's and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. That's the yellow brown skin. That's the Hebrews. That's the Asian. That's the Oriental. That's the Native American. And Japheth came over here and dwelt in the tents of Shem. Christopher Columbus, the, 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 the founding of Jamestown, and the pilgrims in, in Massachusetts, and, and the Vikings came here before us, and the Russians crossed over in the land, uh, out in the land, in the, uh, Alaska. That's Jayfoot. That's the white belly of the leopard, and the yellow is the shim. There are Jewish people here. There is under great controversy right now. Lawsuits I, I, I've read. When we got from the from the separatists that came out of the Pilgrim Church, the Congregationists, when they set forth in Rhode Island, where I've been and studying, I, I got the pictures. Of men that don't even know the name Whiteman, Obadiah Holmes. Not only did they at first found the first Baptist church, no, not in Providence. I've been there. I can't think of the name of the place right now. <laughs> Memory's gone. But when you go to the first Baptist church, And they got in that area, they got the, the monuments to all the people that first Baptist church. You, go, you can go to a schoolyard and see the memorial to Obadiah Holmes and John Clark right around the, from the police station, Narragansett, Narragansett. That's the first Baptist church. That's where democracy in America began. It began with the Baptists. Well, when you go there, and I can't walk no more. I'm lame. I have to tell my dad we have to get my wheelchair. But you go to the First Baptist Church, and I've been there. I got the pictures. You, you email us. I'll put the pictures back up. You go around the corner and up a hill. And there's this mansion-looking kind of building. That's the first Jewish synagogue in America that the separatists, those who are of the Bible, not the congregation, of the Bible said, we got to give land and freedom to the worship of the people of God, Israel. Not Rome. To the Jews. That's the Bible separatist movement. Friend, this is this is the Geneva Bible, and this is the King James Bible of the time. We haven't got to the ASV. And then that leopard, and you're going to hate me for this one, he has black spots. And we know who the black spots represent. And we have him in the Bible, too. I lost it. Genesis 
Bye, we're going to Genesis. Again, again. Genesis 9. We got the Hamite coming. Cursed be King, 9.25. A servant of servants shall be unto his brethren. The black man is to be a servant, according to the Bible. And if you're not a servant, you're not being biblical. Hey, I ain't reading the Bible, the King James Bible. Maybe we have to change it. Maybe we got to get a BLM Bible. They're probably writing one right now. There's a Bible out there. I don't know which one. But they erased the word servant and slave. They don't like those words, but it's a Bible. They'll have to deal with the writer, not with me. And said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Shem is Jewish. The Lord God of Shem, the Lord God is Jesus Christ, who came unto his own, and his own received him not. And Cana, that's the black side of, 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 of uh, Noah. Noah had three boys. He had the European, he had the Shemites, the Asian, the Jewish, brown, and he had the colored man. And when they got out of that ark, Japheth stayed in the, in the European land. And Shem, he went I'm trying to, I'm trying, southeast and east to the Orient, to the Americas. You're supposed to get the land of Cana. That was, it was not supposed to be the land of Cana. Should have been the land of Shemite. And then the Canaanites, the colored man, got out of the ark and went south and went along the land of, of Israel. Canaanites, Canaanites, that's the sons right there of Noah, and they have Africa, the black man. And it says in verse 27, God shall enlarge Jacob. He's going to move. He's going to get in shift. He's going to go worldwide. He's going to be a explorer. He's going to be an adventurer. He's going to get in ships. He's going to find countries. He's going to go to, to China and Japan for spices. He's going to stop off at the Bahamas. And hey, hey, naked women and gold and silver. Let's kill them in the name of the Catholic Church and make them slaves. That's exactly what Christopher Columbus did. Why do you think the Native Americans hated so much? Because of what the Catholic Church done. Spain! What Spain? In the name of Spain, in the name of the Pope, go over there and kill them. Man, that's why Spain is missing. And the Japheth shall dwell in the, land, in the tents of Shem. That's exactly what happened to the pilgrims. <clears throat> when they came over in Massachusetts, they came to a land, and there were places to live in. There were grains. What happened here? And they talked to the Indians throughout the time, and they found out that the tribe that was there was wiped out. I forget what the story is, how they were wiped out. They were wiped out. God said, hey, you guys go bye-bye. Here comes, here comes the people with the Geneva Bible. And the pilgrims survived because of the help of the Shemites. And then there was a period of time, and Cana shall be his servant. They sent ships over to Africa. And they got Africans to put Africans on those ships to come over here and pick pot cotton. As wrong as this, that's history. And so we have that leopard. We have that leopard here, and he is a beast of colors, of people, and nations. America, England would be a representative of the Persian nation. Greek, Russia would be the, the, of the Grecians, the Greeks. America would be the representation of Rome. After all, we got Maryland. 
Eng the eagle is the official symbol of America. Should it be the fall? Of course, we're, the, we're a Christian nation. You ain't following the Bible. You should have a chicken. A fall. And there's plenty of animals you can choose from. If you, if you type in what is a fall, there's plenty to choose from. It's also the symbol of Rome. Interesting. And as I said, England is English language. Russia is the communism. All come to the Antichrist. And America is... Let's get everybody together. The blacks are whites, the whites are black, and the males are females, the females are male, and they are all the kinds of genders that we... Integrate, integration. The, the integration of, you know, getting everybody together today, you think it's something new, it's a Bible doctrine. And none of these three nations have come together by a war. They are not come. Okay, we'll look at it again. It says, it says, as far as the lion, his wings, the griffin's wings have been clipped. He's wingless. Maybe because the Americans are eating his wings. <laughs> Can dinky dinky? Isn't it funny that the number one food today for the Super Bowl and all that is wings? Maybe that came out of the King James 1611 Bible. But as far as the griffin, his wings have been plucked. He's been lifted up on the earth on two legs. He's still walking. He's still living. He's still powerful. May stand upon his feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. And then you have the Russian, the bear. And he raises up on this on one side. Have you ever seen the map of Russia? What's the one side? Russia today is divided up a different nation. She separated herself. And maybe one part that's really truly the communist, maybe they're the ones that get up and the other one's like, oh, he's, you know. And three ribs in its mouth. Of it between the teeth of it. And they said thus unto it, Arise, get up. Now maybe that is today. But Russia has other, has other wars and battles and conflicts. I mean, in my time, the nuclear war between the Americans and the Russians and the submarines and all that, and if Russia would have launched their... Their, their nuclear wars, we could hide underneath our desk in our school and we say from nuclear war. I mean, but there, there's Russia. And three ribs, maybe I'll get into that next time. Because I got something interesting. And they said thus unto it, all right, arise, devour much flesh. Did, did it die? Did it get conquered? Did it drop dead? No. The English nation got up, the griffin, it's been plucked, it's standing on two feet. It's given humanity. The beast that is the, the bear is arise and devour. And if Russia does devour, and Russia becomes as 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 bad as Alexander the Great, as bad as Adolf Hitler, taking and conquering lands, okay, here here we are. Maybe I don't know. Maybe later on, I, I, maybe the bear just got out of the desert. I'm hungry at that long hibernation. That's what bears do. Maybe he's out for some picnic baskets. Hey, you boo boo. Gotta give me some picnic baskets. And oh, you know what the media wants? Buy our newspaper, buy our thing, buy our time. Buy our... Panic, panic, panic. And now we got parachuting spiders coming. What happened to killer bees? You know, they had to the kill her bees when I grew up. They were actually making movies about killer bees. It's always a panic somewhere. All right? 
And then we beheld another beast like a leopard, Hamai, Shemai, Jep, Japheth. All the humanity, all together, one animal. Which upon his back of it were four wings of a fowl. Not an eagle. And the beast had also four heads. We're going to get into all that. And dominion, power, was given to it. Now, the, the, the griffin didn't die. The bear didn't die. The leopard didn't die. And we come up to that fourth beast. We got the Antichrist. The griffin stood there. The bear stood there. And the leopard stood there. Remember the little preview I gave you in, in Revelation chapter 12? What were those animals? You remember? They're the animals are right here. That Antichrist nation is going to be built up of a leopard, of a lion, and a bear. All these nations are heading to the Antichrist. Oh, we got socialism. That's like, go ahead, bring the socialism. Bring the taxation. Were you crazy? No, because that's the Antichrist. And I know that before the tribulation period and the Antichrist, I know I'm going to be raptured out of here. So bring it on. But gasoline is going to go to 12 bows. Maybe God will get rid of the gasoline. It will work on the, on the coffee beans next. Ah! Coffee. You see that cup of coffee? This is my cup of coffee. One of the few cups I have. Do you thank God for that coffee that you're drinking? When was the last time, Lord God, I thank you for a good cup of coffee? Yeah. When was the last time you're pumping gas in your car? You're like, thank you, Lord, for the gas. Thank you, money for the, thank you, Lord, for the money for the gas. Thank you, Lord, for a place I can drive to go to church. Maybe what we're unthankful for with God, God's like, I'm going to take it away. You know what I say? If God's not going to get the glory, bye-bye stuff. God's trying to get our attention. And I'm telling you right now, with the gasoline, he's getting your attention, but... Let me tell you something. When I was a boy growing up in the 70s, and uh, my memory's a little bit, I remember my parents would have to get into lines and lines to get gasoline. And sometimes when you got up to the gas pump, they ran out. And I remember seeing people fighting at the gas station. If somebody, if somebody would try to cut in, some, whatever it would be. This ain't the first time. And we are not in the tribulation period because gasoline is going over $4 a gallon. We got a mighty and holy God and he's like, I'm just trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get you to get right. 